Hey folks, uh, you are tuned in to the Free Matt Podcast. I am Matt Free Matt. The illustrious General Patrick Flynn is not in. I obviously am still in contact with him. He's doing okay. Do not fret. Hopefully we'll be able to get something uh, going sometime soon. As of lately, schedules are mixed up. I'll do a couple of one-offs, a couple of article readings. Might try to get something big on the weekend, maybe even a guest a guest spot. We'll see what we can do. Uh, all right, folks, I did want to come and I had another a small article discussion I wanted to, to look at. This is kind of a bonus. I, I know you all know I usually do the matters with Matt, my anti-advice column where I skewer people asking for advice. It's usually some of the craziest stuff I've ever heard, people who basically do themselves in. I found a little bit of, uh, this is a bonus one, a special one. This was uh, from Salon, salon salon.com, and I'll even leave a a link down below, of course. Uh, Before we get started, I think uh, subscribe, hit the notifications, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Further down there, got links, various social media, Twitter, Parlay, Gab, I try to get on there. Obviously, I leave my email uh, for some hate mail. Uh, feel free to send some hate mail. Help send, ask for some advice from the matters. All right, for this uh, extra special matters with Matt, we're going to look at an article from Salon.com, and it was today, March tenth, twenty twenty one. Pandemic problems. I'm afraid of gator way wearers. Gator, G-A-I-T-E-R. That is the wrap that goes around your neck and your face like this, instead of having your standard mask. I mean, if you're, uh, if you're, if you're trying to kill Batman, and at the bottom, I'll put you at the bottom until you pick Batman. Instead of a face, like, you got a face mask like that, like you're from Batman. Let me see. This article was Nicole Carlos. Do 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 do. Um, I did look look through it beforehand. There's some. I'll try to parse through it. Some juicy bits. We'll stop and then we'll punt. Whatever. Salon not known for its non woke crap. Some of this whiner whiners and stuff like that. The 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 possibility for real. Well, there's some possibilities for intellectual depth, but I don't see it that often. Just leave me there. So I was in the checkout line at the grocery store the other day, and the woman behind me was wearing a tie-dye neck gaiter as a mask. While she was supposed to be on the yellow tape line that demarcated six feet of distance between customers, as my groceries were being bagged, she got closer and closer to me. But it wasn't so much this lack of space that annoyed me. In parentheses, I've also been that person in the grocery line who breached the mandated six feet of distance, too. It's hard to do in grocery stores. Thank you for admitting that. Rather, it was the fact that she was wearing a gaiter over her mouth rather than a normal face mask. To me, that screamed that she wasn't taking the pandemic seriously. Gator masks aren't even masks, and have shown to not work to block germs. And whenever I see people wearing them, I feel like they're putting all our lives at risk. I debated if I should say something to her, but I didn't want to be rude and to have some sort of dramatic standoff with her in the grocery store. In truth, I wish I had. What if I'm not alone? What if other people feel uncomfortable when this person wears a gator mask too? My question to you is, next time I'm stuck in an indoor space with a person wearing a gator mask, should I ask them to leave, or tell them that a gator mask isn't very effective, or should I just let them carry on with their business? What's the right thing to do? Signed, Aggravated by Gators. Here's the thing. We just, we're just letting the matters deal with this. I think you're overthinking this. Do you honestly want to be just 
like, do you feel complete when you can find righteous indig indignation? Where you can just be completely off the wall and just yell at people and complain. Like, it, it, it's almost a trope about dealing with people out in public. The only people that seem to, like, enjoy doing this are, hate to say this, Karens. And yes, Karen is a scourge. It's not something you should look forward to. And it's funny because I don't think this, this, this person said if they were male or female. So I guess it would be a Todd. A female Karen, or male Karen is a Todd. Let's call him Todd. It's like, Todd, you're just being an ass. I mean, you're overthinking things and you're looking for reasons to be upset or triggered or whatever you want to call it. I mean, you said, or tell them that a gator mask isn't very effective. Shouldn't you just leave them alone to their own devices? They can get sick, go home, and die on their own? Like, you don't have to literally tell these people, hey, you're going to get sick and die. They're going to figure it out on their own. And, yeah, it's like being barefoot outside when it's 20 degree, negative 20. And that's negative 20 Fahrenheit. Not negative, was it negative 20? Yeah, whatever. It's cold. Who cares? It's cold. Celsius or Fahrenheit, it's cold. It's cold, it's cold. It's boiling water. It's hot. Frozen, frozen water, which you call ice, is, is cold. And here's the thing. Should I just let them carry on with their business? If this is a problem, which I doubt it is, I'll just tell you it isn't, you know, Todd, whatever your name is, go to management. Walk up to management. Find a member of management and say, hey, these people aren't pr properly protecting themselves. But don't be surprised when the, when the anti-Karen or anti-Todd management comes up to you and says that, you know, this is within the boundaries of the rules or what our store is or whatever kind of language you want to use. I'm not, I'm, I'm getting somewhere, don't worry. The whole thing is just worry about you. Worry, just don't be a nasty ass. Don't sit on top of people and just... The right thing to do is get on with your life. And you know what? Panicking and being stressed makes makes you more immune compromised than other than other people that are chill. Big Lebowski level chill. The dude. The dude like existence. And you know what? Minding somebody else's business is not something you want to do. Just get on with your life. And of, of course it's Talks about, see, of course, the, the the real response from the people at Salon were eh, talk about scientific, t scientific, uh, scientific uh, stories and uh, outlets saying that it was you know worse the risk at all, about ineffective face coverings. Duke, who cares? Be responsible for your own damn life, and you know what. If somebody's on top of you, say, hey, can you back up? Don't don't ride up on me. Tell them to get off. Just, and here's the thing. I don't really talk about anything covering your face is better than nothing at all. Whatever. You know what? And, of course, somebody thinks that there's something to do with your character. You don't wear a mask. And of course, they're bitching and saying somebody might, it's a tie-dye mask, you know, trying to be cute about it. And here's the thing, it's just get on with your life. It's not being the right thing, minding your own damn business, unless there's something really wrong, is minding your business. And you know what? Not panicking will help us get through the pandemic. You're like, what's the science behind not panicking? Don't be stressed, be happy, feel better. All right, there you go. And you know what? I'll leave the link down below, but you know what? I don't think Nicole really needs my help. I, I just gave it. I just gave you a whole damn story and I gave you some tips. Don't panic. Don't don't be stressed and don't let the stress kill you. What do they call it? Comorbid, comorbidity? You know, being stressed out, wigging out, and having your heart fluctuate and palpitate and whatever you want to call it, 
you know, ventricles flowing all over the place, you know, blood's not going in the right direction, going all over the place, you got throbbing headaches and everything else, don't. Be like the dude, Big Lebowski, the dude. Now, I did want to leave you with an unrelated piece of advice. Just have a nice day. Go outside, enjoy yourself. We're, we're, we're social people, be around people, love people. And you know what? Act like this isn't happening. I know you're not going to like me saying that. Just get on with your life. That's not, this isn't medical advice. There's just a point where you have to move on. If you're alive, move on. Obviously, if you're dead, you're not going to be moving on because you're dead. But you know what? Please take care of yourself. Be happy. Be loved. Thank you, and have a good one.